so we're down to this, just this little bit towards the bottom to be cut. That will only take about an hour. With the help of Big Joe, a couple of evenings, last couple of weeks, I've been able to cut it right back. All that's left to do now is go over and top the cuttings down, mulch them into smaller pieces, which we can do now as and when without any great rush. What I wanted to do was to get this long grass down as quickly as possible. We've been held up with the ride on mower not being able to get fixed, being let down over the months. We've got it back. I've been coming up here when and where I can, doing a bit. I say recently Joe's, Big Joe's come up and give me a hand. And this is what we've achieved. If we walk down to this bottom right hand corner from the gate, um, there's a, a pathway that used to go around this, I suppose it's a copse, a wood, wooden copse, not very big. It used to go all the way around, but it's been so overgrown for the last, I don't know, three, four years. I've not been able to show it before, but Big Joe's been down. He's uh, taken his lappers, blocked off a lot of the over, overgrown low lying branches on the conifers, cut them well back, so now at least we can get round. This is the result of that. Round the other way, um, alongside where the, the rams were, the last time any livestock was up here, on the right, he's done the same again here, lopped off the overgrown low-lying conifer branches, cut them back, so now we can get up here. So at a later date, it can go all the way round with the mower, and then that'll be done. Now coming back from the same area start point down the bottom right hand corner but instead of going along the fence to the left we'll go bare right up towards where the allotments used to be and we'll show you what we've done up there.
The branches on the conifers towards the top boundary line, they're still to be lopped off and trimmed back. But again, this can all be done at a later date. I just wanted the long grass taken down to give us a chance. Uh, so I'm well pleased. As you can see, you can actually get in and out without too much hassle. The aim for the future is to come up here and start clearing everything back out of the old areas where we used to keep the chickens and goats, um, get rid of the old machinery, scrap it all, anything that's lying around, old metal, old pallets, get rid of them. Uh, maybe even take down some of the fences, start again basically. But that's for the future. The important thing was to get this grass cut down and we've achieved it. As you come around this corner, in front of us we have what I wanted to do, my mission complete. Sight for sore eyes that is. Thanks for watching. I hope you've liked what we've tried to do, what you've seen us doing. It's been hard work because it's been fitted in and time being the biggest problem we've got, we've managed to do it and I'm very grateful to Big Joe for helping out when he's been able to get up here. So yeah. Thanks for watching, it's been a, a little journey that uh, I wanted to do for my dad. So almost two years to the day when he came up here last. I'm gonna put up a little short video. The next one will be in memory of him. So if you like what you've seen so far, give us the old thumbs up, I'd be very grateful. Subscribe to the channel in general. I do all sorts, dogs, trucks, bikes, tropical fish, basically my hobbies, but now I've started to do the vlogging, I can continue along the veins of just keeping you in touch with what we're doing up here, and anything else that may be of interest, so again, many thanks for watching and joining us on this journey. So it's only a little journey, but to me, it was a big one that I wanted to accomplish this year before it got too out of hand. As they say, nature will claim back what we've taken from it pretty quickly. And I always, as I always say, catch you again later. Thanks for watching.